Mrs. Rainey's ever. I believe that's our ring. I had no Islam. I believe you're right. I'll see. Hello, jot them down, store. This is Lum and Abner. <laughs> Now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, Lum is a little worried over the fact that Dodge and his Smith found out he had ruined the package of pamphlets he was supposed to deliver to the man at the county seat. However, his worries are somewhat overshadowed by his new activities as air raid warden. He appointed Mousy Gray as one of his watchers and put him on duty all last night. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum in the Jotham Down store and library. Abner has just returned after making the deliveries. Listen. I know me, Lum. I'm from war out. I ain't used to making them deliveries no more, you know it? Uh, oh, you back already, Abner? Yeah, I wish you wouldn't have Mousy for one of your night airplane watchers. I don't want to have to do his work in the daytime. Well, this is for a good cause, Abner. Besides, he won't be on duty every night. Just uh, a couple of nights a week, so. He ought to be getting down here pretty soon to make his report. And I hope he gets down before the afternoon deliver. What you filing on there, Long? No, oh, nothing. It looks like a badge. What kind of badge is it? Oh, it's just my air raid warden's badge. I'm supposed to wear this on my uniform. Oh. By the way, how does my cap look now? Your cap? Yeah, see, I printed air raid warden on a piece of cardboard and glued it over where it said porter. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I hadn't noticed that. That looks good. Uh, what are you filing the badge for, Alarm? Is it too big? Uh, yeah, that's it. Too big. Well, uh, hold it up once and let me see how big it is. Abner, I wish you'd stop being so nosy. Why, that says Game Warden on there. I thought you said that was an Air Raid Warden's badge. Well, the uh, government must have made a mistake and sent me the wrong kind. Well? So now i got to file that word game off and study up some way to get Air Raid on there. Huh. Of course, I could send it back to the government, but I don't want to put them to no extra bother. No, the government never sent you that. You bought that when you went into the county seat yesterday, now, didn't you? Abner, I ain't allowed to reveal military information that way. Now, don't ask no more questions, or I'll report you to somebody. To me, I think. All right, all right. H how'd you get along with the county seat this time, Mom? Did you get the pamphlets delivered to the fellow all right? Oh, yeah. And of course, he looked right away to see if the package was dry. He gave me an awful suspicious look. He did, huh? Reckon how Dodge and he's found out about that other package getting all wet. Things I don't know. He must have some kind of a super unnatural powers. He knows my now everything that goes on around here. Oh, yeah. Feller can't be too careful around that dodge and he's, I'll tell you that. He must have deputies all over watching everything we do. It more than likely. And you almost wish you hadn't started that contest for the most honest and kind and generous person in Pine Ridge. Me too. Of course, ten thousand dollars. Wait a minute, wait, here it comes, Mousy. I doggies now I won't have to make the afternoon delivers. Well, you put up the orders for him, though, Abner, because he's got to make his report to me. Well, that won't take long. Well, it might. I told him to write out a full report of everything he's seen during the night. I guess I'm going to do this job right. Well, can I listen to the report? Of course not. This is confidential stuff. Oh. You get to work and don't listen. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, howdy, Mousy. Wonderful world. Wonderful world, Mom. Yeah, wonderful world, Mousy. You get to work, Abner. I'm going... Well, Mousy, did you catch up on your sleep all right? Well, I didn't get very much sleep, Lum. See, I've been working awful hard on my report. Well, that's good. That's the kind of watchers I need. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read what all you've written down there. Well, I looked at my watch all the time and just put down everything that happened when it happened. Well, Lum. good for you. Starts out here. Let's see. You've got it right here. 12 o'clock midnight. All is dark. Wait a minute. I better start that out by saying official watcher number 6Q29 reporting. 6Q29? Yeah, that's going to be your number from now on. Yes, sir. I'll put that down here right now. Official watcher number 6Q29 reporting. 12 o'clock midnight. All is dark and foreboding. Sky is heavy with clouds. Hmm? No stars are visible. Among stars not visible are Big Dipper, Little Dipper, North Star. I don't care about how many stars you can't see. Get on to the important stuff, Mousy. Yes, sir. 12 
1215, still dark and gloomy, a hoot owl hoot. It is a very mournful sound. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. I know what an owl sounds like now. Say, skip over that part. Yes, sir. 1220, once again, the hoot owl hoots. 1225, hoot owl hoots again. 1227, hoot owl... Is that all you got in that report, is hoot owls hooting? No, sir, this next one is different, Mom. 1231, I make a friendly gesture and hoot back at the owl. For goodness sake. 1236, the owl hoots twice and I respond. 1239, I hoot three times and the owl responds. 1241. For land's sakes, Mousy, I don't care nothing about any of that stuff. You're yeah. supposed to watch for our planes and any suspicious things you happen to see. Yes, sir. Well, I wanted to put the owl in my report, Lon, because he, he, well, he was so friendly all night, and he just seemed like a mother to me. Yeah, I know. Everything seems like a mother to you. Yeah. But how about our planes? Did you see any of them flying over? Well, only the mail plane, but... I never put that down because Diogenes was on duty then. Diogenes? Yes, sir. Did he come out of his printing shop and take over for you? Yes, sir. He came out about 2 o'clock, just about the time the car drove by. The car? Whose car? Well, I don't know, Lum. It was so dark last night, I couldn't tell. All I know was that Diogenes waved his lantern at the car. He said he always waved his lantern at strangers in the night because... It was a beacon of friendship, he said. Yeah, it sounds like him all right. All us doing something for others. Yes, sir. Did the car stop? No, sir. Not then. What do you mean, not then? Well, after it had gone past, why, Dodge and he said that I should go home and get some hot coffee and warm myself up while he stood guard for me. Mm, there's awful thought of him. So I went home, but I didn't want to wake Gussie up by making a lot of noise in the kitchen and... I just turned around and walked back, and that's when I saw the car again. Or at least I figured it was the same car. Well, had it stopped somewhere then? Yes, sir, right here in front of the jot em down store. Diogenes was talking to the driver. Oh, more than likely telling him about the lantern of friendship and all. Yes, Could you sir. see who the driver was? No, sir, it was too dark, Lum, and, well, the car was heading the other way, so all I could see was just the fellow's back. And once when Diogenes held up his lantern, why, I saw him hand the driver a big package of those pamphlets. Pamphlets? Yes, sir. Uh, Grannies, I wonder if he's got another circulating manager. More than likely, somebody trying to get my job. What else did you see? Well, I'm not sure, Lum, but it looked like the driver got out his billfold and handed Diogenes a lot of money. Money? Yes, sir. For goodness sakes. Well, that feller, whoever he is, must be awful anxious to get my job away from me if he's willing to pay for it. Yes, sir. Grannies, I got to find out more about this. Did Diogenes know you was watching it? No, sir, I don't think so. I stood back in the shadow of the store and waited till after the car had driven away. Uh, well, did you ask Diogenes anything about it after you joined him later? Well, I didn't get a chance, Lum. He said he had to go back to the feed room and start to press is rolling again to turn out the golden words of honesty, I believe he called them, and, and he left right away. Uh, about what time was that? Well, let's see, I've got it right here. That was uh, 2.29 a.m., and then at 2.31 a.m., the owl hooted twice, and I responded. At 2.37... Mousy, forget that hoot owl stuff. This other might be serious. Yes, sir. We should have got a look at the fellow driving the car. Was he big or little or what? Well, I don't know, Lum. It was awful dark. All I was able to get was just the license number on the car. The license? Yes. Sir. Well, good. That's the best thing you could have got, Mousy. Good for you. Uh, what was the number? Well, let's see. I wrote it down here. It was an Arkansas number. Uh, here it is. X96ZOO. Arkansas. Hi, Dogie, that number could belong to somebody right here in Pine Ridge, Lon. Abner, you ain't supposed to be listening to this report. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Reckon whose license number that is? I don't know. Well, now, if that number don't belong to somebody in town here, it at least has to be right here in this county. Now, right, Granny, Abner, there's something <coughs> around here, and I wish I knowed what it was. Huh? If I didn't know Dodge and he was such a right living fella, I might fishin' him or something. I don't know what, though. Well, it does look sort of funny, don't it? Yeah. 
I can understand how some snake in the weeds would try to pay Dodge and he's to get the circulating manager job, because that sort of gives you the inside track on winning the $10,000 prize. Sure. But what I can't understand is why Dodge and he would take the money. He's rich. He don't need it. Why, no. Fact is, I even recollect him saying that he never liked money. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There comes Cedric. Huh? Hi, doggies. He's just a fella you want to see, too, Lum. What do you mean, I want to see him? Why, that Cedric knows every license number of every car in town by heart. He sat down there at that gasoline station for hours at a time, memorizing them. Yeah, that's right, ain't it? Why, sure. Hi, <laughs> doggies. Maybe we'll find out something. Well, howdy, Cedric. Come on in. Wonderful world. Yeah, wonderful world, Cedric. Uh, say, Cedric, whose license number is, uh, uh, what's that number, Long? Mousy's got it wrote down there. What is it, Mousy? It's, uh, X-9-6-Z-O-O. -O. Oh, that's easy. That's mine. <laughs>